Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. Um, I am doing a Valentine's special and this is going to be titled um, For the One Who Is On Your Mind on this Valentine's. Uh, simply because I know a lot of my viewers are, you know, high level soulmates, twin flames. There's so many titles. I like to call them ascension partners, lab partners, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we're going to take a look today. Um, I'm going to cut the deck for each zodiac sign. I will time stamp them below. And this is for whoever is on your heart and mind this Valentine's Day. Okay, we're going to start now with Pisces. I'm going to bring the deck out and cut it. Okay, for Pisces, please. We'll take the top. For Pisces, please. Pisces, please. For Pisces, please. And last but not least, for Pisces. Okay, let's see what we've got. Ooh, so we have the Wheel of Fortune <laughs> with Yeah, Nah. I think that might be Two of Swords energy. We have Wish Fulfillment. We have Serendipity. Oh. Sorry, I thought I was holding them up to where you could see them. Let's fix this camera. There we go. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. Yay, your yeah, nah. Wish Fulfillment. Serendipity. And I want to give you an opportunity to look at the picture. A picture is worth a thousand words. There's an angel. And there's masculine. And there's the feminine. Looks like we... There's that wish fulfillment right there. Wheel of Fortune is the fact that I don't think this is going to happen uh, because anybody gets a hold of anybody. I think if Pisces, whoever you have on your heart and mind, if you're going to see this person on Valentine's Day, I think it's going to be completely out of your control. I think the divine will orchestrate the entire thing because we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is destiny. We have indecision, yeah, nah. My guess is that your person is wondering whether they should reach out to you. Um, I think they want to with wish fulfillment. I think they're hoping. And it looks to me like spirits bringing it all together somehow, some way, whether you run into each other at a grocery store, gas station, um, friendly get together, dinner, you know, maybe you're out with other people. I don't know what you got going on, Pisces, but man, it looks to me like um, somebody's wanting to reach out. It's their wish fulfillment. And it could be your wish fulfillment, too. It's like mutual uh, but there's stubbornness here. It feels to me like somebody um, is holding back. And if the two of you are destined to talk, see, or interact with each other over Valentine's Day, I would say it's going to be completely orchestrated by spirit. So we have don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So with this yeah, nah, it feels to me like ego. I was picking that up. Like there might be some kind of ego here around um, should I or should I not reach out? What will people think, right? Spirit saying don't make that decision based on guilt or what you think others or what others might think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others so this decisions you know if you're looking for advice you have to do what's right for you okay so this has been pisces let me write down my timestamp stamp for 44 hey look at that my pen is not or pencil holy crap 44 now it's something else but that was a magic number so i'm keeping it all 
right. Moving on now. This is going to take a while because Tracy has to be perfectionist in everything she does. All right. Now let's move on to Aries. Aries, please. I'm going to see if I can do this from here. Oh, that one definitely wanted to come out. Aries, please. Aries, please. For Valentine's Day. For Aries, please. Oh, okay. I thought it was one and it wanted to be another. Aries, please. Aries. Oh, hold on because that one was sticking out from the last one. Aries, please. Thank you. Da, 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 da. Ooh, we have the devil, we have the ace of swords, we have wish fulfillment again, we have self-respect, and here's the picture. And we have new beginning, a new adventure awaits, embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So, Aries, it feels to me... Um. Like either you're going to communicate or you will be receiving communication from the person who is on your heart and mind. Um, it's what you're hoping for or it's what they're hoping for. Because again, with the wish fulfillment tells me that, you know, you're wishing they'll contact you or they're wishing you'll contact them. But there is a new beginning because we have an ace, right? Ace is a new beginning. Um, but there, it comes with a caveat. I'm going to say, Aries, you need to be aware of intentions, yours and theirs, okay? Because self-respect is is something that it, it feels like a boundary with the devil. So, you know, it, it, if this is a third-party situation or is the if this is somebody you work with that you're not supposed to mingle with, it seems like there's a daring aspect to this in some way, shape, or form. Um, <clears throat> either, you know, it could be toxic for some of you, for others of you, it could just be very lustful and, and passionate because the devil can represent that too. For others of you, it could be, um, it just feels like uh, naughty thoughts. I'm looking at this picture. Um, it's like this girl is chained to this guy who, by the way, looks like he might have a drinking problem for some of you. Um, but if this is somebody who you feel energetically corded to or, or stuck with, um, and, and there, there could be an addiction here like codependence or alcoholism. This isn't for everybody, but whatever this is, there, it comes with a warning to respect yourself. Hold the line, right? Have healthy boundaries because this is some somebody or something that's going to come in and and for some of you, I'm going to be honest, it could be a lesson, lesson, <laughs> lesson. For some of you, this is a lesson on um, showing up in relationships in a much better way with healthy boundaries and knowing that you create this new beginning by how much you love yourself. Um, if the person doesn't show up in the right way, then you know what to do. If they do, and this is just passion, you know, wish fulfillment, brand new beginning with somebody, there still seems to be this element of spirit saying, speak your truth, hold your boundaries, and don't be afraid to say no thank you to anything that does not respect you. In any way, if, if it means you have to compromise your own self-love, then stand up for yourself and speak that truth. Because the Ace of Swords is also the, the sword that we use to cut people out of our lives. And there seems to be an attachment element for some of you. If that doesn't resonate, and this is just brand new beginning, um, 
just from the very, very beginning, make sure that you speak your truth and love yourself in such a way that nobody can um, can bring you down. Okay? All right. We're going to move on. Da -da 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 -da. I should have done this off camera. But I love my peeps and I haven't been channeling for you. So we are at 1020. Oh, 1032. 1032. My pencils keep breaking. All right. Moving on now to Taurus. All right. Spirit Valentine's Day for Taurus for the person on their heart and mind. Valentine's Day for Taurus for the person on their heart and mind. Ooh, that was confusing. Let's do that again. Oh, all right. They said take that one. That one really wanted to be. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, six of cups. Somebody from the past. <laughs> Sex with you. Mm, number six. We have wish of... <laughs> This one keeps coming out, and you guys saw me drop that deck twice. We have compatibility. Let me pull that out so you can see it. Look at how nice. And we have secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So definitely, uh, this is somebody that's longing to, to hear from you, to reach out for you, missing you a lot. This is somebody who you really have a lot in common with and i would say everybody's wishing for communication i mean we're three signs in and every one of them have gotten this card um so there's somebody who has feelings for you um passionate feelings for you they would like to be with you in many different forms um i think it's somebody you probably know already Either somebody you grew up with, a childhood sweetheart, somebody from your past, or just a really deep connected soulmate with the Six of Cups. Especially with this beautiful compatibility card, this tells me that the two of you are, are really like a good match. However, this person is not reaching out, it doesn't feel like, on... Um, Valentine's Day, but boy, are they thinking about it. And if they do reach out to you, it might be kind of platonic, despite this person's really deep, deep, deep feelings for you. There's a lot of feelings here from both of you. You know, this is like common mutual energy, it feels to me. So if you haven't heard from your person that you've got on your heart and mind in a while, they're really wishing to hear from you or for you know it's that should I call him shouldn't I call him is it my turn you know is it overstepping boundaries this is somebody that just really 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 jives with you this is soulmate energy six of cups compatibility um <clears throat> but this could be somebody you don't know I doubt it but I'm gonna say um what's going on is that they're they're not completely being honest with you. You're, they're not telling you their feelings. And they also, those feelings run very deep. And they look at you like a wish fulfillment. They they desire you. Um, but I don't think they got the gonads to tell you. I could be wrong. Let me know. <laughs> but it looks to me like this person sits by and watches you. And dreams about you. Reminisces about the good old days if you already know them. But this is definitely a soul connection. And just because they don't reach out, don't let it ruin your Valentine's Day. Because it looks to me like if, if they could have their wishes come true, it would be, absolutely would be, to have fun with you and uh, to reconnect is what it feels like. All right, moving on. Well, what was that? That was 1454. All right, 
I'll figure that out later. All right, moving on to Gemini. This I accidentally messed uh, with coffee, that paper up, so I ripped it. Gemini. Whoever's on their heart and mind for Valentine's Day for Gemini. Whoever's on their heart and mind for Valentine's Day for Gemini. I'm going to give this a little mix since we keep getting the same card for Gemini. Or Gemini, it's a big deck. Gemini. All right, what do we got for the big G? We have three of pentacles. Mercury messages, travel and communication. Finally, somebody's going to get a message by the looks of it. We have the rainbow reveter. What happened to this card? I know I drew one. Did I drop it? Didn't I draw one, guys? Huh. I'll draw another one. The Rainbow Reviver and Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Now, let me get you one of these because as crazy as it seems, I thought I did. For Gemini, please. Very clear after messages for Gemini. All right. I want you, I want to get you drunk. <laughs> and look at messages in a bottle. Oh my god. The rainbow reviver and trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. All right, feels to me, this feels like somebody you might work with, um, somebody you um, know in your friend group, or, but I definitely see communication. I'm not sure because it's a reviver. So this is either somebody that you've dated before, Or this could be you meeting somebody new. Because this is devil energy too. It feels to me like maybe you have um, leveled up somehow. And uh, maybe you're getting out there. Maybe you're going out with friends. Having a few drinks. I think, I'm just going to put this out there, Gemini. Um, I don't think this is about this situation. Transformation occurs. I think you've transformed. And how did you do that? I think through accepting who you are and loving yourself. And once you did that, then things are transforming for you. It looks to me like you could possibly meet somebody out. Uh, be careful because, you know, uh, it feels good. It feels good. Um, but I think having drinks is going to loosen somebody up and maybe even revive your love life. But this is either somebody you're already working with, you're already in your friend group, or, or this is somebody you know from work. But I would expect that on Valentine's Day or Valentine's Day weekend, um, whatever night, you know, you tend to go out and have a few drinks with friends or co-workers. I think somebody might just have a few drinks or buy you a few drinks and then say things. It feels like um, loosening the tongue up. I don't know why. It just feels that way. feels like having a few drinks is going to um, create ambiance or emotional connection with somebody and I think it's because you've had a glow up so this could be somebody new this could be somebody you already know um, but this doesn't feel to me like um, 
like being alone or lonely on Valentine's Day. This feels to me like you could get a message from somebody, maybe a drunk text, or you could be out with friends. Um, but something is about to be revived for you, whether it's somebody from the past or it's a brand new you, you know, getting getting out there more. Um, I think you've done some transformations, and I think because of that, you are now manifesting something new or something returning in a new way. Okay, that's your message. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, I got garbage blowing all over in my backyard. Yesterday was garbage day, and people don't put lids on their garbage cans. And then it blows around, and because my yard is a corner lot, it picks everything up. And like you really care, right? I'm sharing too much again, but I don't mind. You guys are my people. All right, that was Gemini 2107. 20... 107. So Gemini gets my little rant. All right. Cancer. We are going to do Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers for Valentine's Day. For whoever is on your heart and mind for Cancer. Please, Spirit, clear, accurate messages for those who find it. Cancer. Well, that one wants to come out for cancer, please. For cancer, please. Wow, we got jumpers for cancer. Hmm. Let's see what that's all about. So we have the eight of wands. Ooh, movement. Movement or communication, fast moving. <laughs> but we have, I'm too afraid to talk. Seven, probably of wands. I don't know the hermit tarot, but we have rejection, loss, fragmented. We have the garden. And we have emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. All right. So, wow. <clears throat> there is fear. I'm just going to put that out there. I think you've put, and I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> I always talk about when I channel for, for people. See the unicorn back here? I, I always talk about weeding your garden. Having healthy boundaries. You know, if you don't like roses and you like poppies, then why would you plant rose seeds in your own garden? So we have to tend to our own energetic field and our own life like it's a garden. And we need to say yes to the things that bring us joy and happiness and no to the things that don't. And it feels to me, because I'm seeing a border here. It feels to me like cancer you have somehow, some way, really grown. You know, this is abundant grown. You're, you're doing great in your life. You're okay alone if you are alone. If you're not alone, you're definitely okay without your person right now. Or, or maybe it's them. It could be vice versa if you're a cross watcher. But, you know, there's mountains back here. It feels to me like somebody's just on the outskirts of your energy and they've come a long way with these mountains back here and they're almost to you they're almost there but they're standing back and they're watching and there's fear look at I'm too afraid to talk and here's this unicorn watching you afraid to talk afraid of being rejected Very emotional. Emotions are a necessary and natural part of life, but they can also distort your perception. This person's seeing you as being too good for them is what it feels like. And cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Now, 
that resentment can be self-inflicted. Maybe they feel like they're a loser. They're, you know, they're whatever those perceptions are, because they could be different for everybody, you know, not feeling worthy or not feeling good enough or feeling shame and guilt for something that they did. And they're trying to forgive themselves or can't forgive themselves. Or maybe they're just, you know, shy and worried that you're going to reject them. But it feels to me like you've got somebody just outside here that's really wishing they could move something forward with you. They're, it's like they're stuck and they're wish. It feels to me like they're standing still, but they're, they're being pushed. Like their energy is pushing at them to reach out, to just, you know, come to the garden edge, to, to say hello, to say, I miss you, to say, who are you? Or to say, you know, um, I love you. Oh, I don't know who gets that, but I heard it. So there's somebody watching you, somebody missing you, possibly if you already know this person, or this could be a secret admirer. Um, but this person is being kind of nudged energetically to reach out, to speak, to move forward, take that first step to create change in this dynamic. Um, but they're very fearful of rejection and um, maybe even a little guilt and shame I'm feeling for some of you. I'm also getting another message. Uh, we're not looking at gender here, but this person is like really excited about life, about getting out of their comfort zone, about riding the the ride, right? They're all excited. They're like, yeah, I'm all in, man. And this person is scared crapless. And I feel like this could be for somebody. If Take it if it resonates. But I think you, the viewer, could be really, really enjoying life right now. Being adventurous, you know, getting in the boat, tucking in their arms and legs and just going with the flow. I think it could be the other person too. Remember, you you know, you can swap roles if that doesn't resonate. But it feels to me like the people I'm reading for are finally excited about life. They're okay with their own energy. You know, it doesn't mean you're, you're alone and not dating or in a relationship. It just means that wherever you are, you feel happy, content in your own energy. It's like um, your energy is clear. You've cleared something or you've, you've leveled up. Um, but this person is watching and they're, they're like, how do you do that? How do you live your life so, so, what's the word, adventurous? Like, uh, aren't you afraid that, that you'll die? Aren't you afraid that you'll get your heart broke? Aren't you afraid that you'll lose something or be rejected or, or abandoned? It's like this person doesn't understand how you could just be so... trusting and creative. I don't know if you'll hear from this person because they are afraid big time, but they're watching you and there's something about the way you live your lifestyle that they desire for themselves, but it scares them because they've probably been through a lot in their past with these mountains and they weren't they weren't anything like what they believe they could have with you you make them feel like a unicorn they want to be like you and they want to be with you and they're watching you and for some of you, you've put up boundaries with this person. And that might be why their emotions are worried. They, there might be something they need to say. This person's in fall, you're in summer or spring. So I don't know if you'll hear from this person. I'll be honest with you. But I can tell you, they want that. 
so badly and they are scared shitless of it. All right, Cancer. I hope that resonates with somebody. All right, that was Cancer at 30. Oh, 30. 30. 11. All right, moving on to Leo. Spirit clear communication for Leo on Valentine's Day or week. Um, weekend, whatever time they're celebrating, if they're celebrating for Leo. What about the person on Leo's heart and mind over Valentine's Day? Heart and mind over Valentine's Day for Leo. Mine for Leo. Leo's person's feelings over Valentine's Day for Leo. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, we got the Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh, and the Nine of Cups. I never imagined so much perfection. Actually, that's a Nine of Pentacles, Spirit's telling me. Oh my God, we have union, integration, wow. We have life purpose, and we have embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. This is so beautiful. Okay, so Leo, um... Remember, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cross watchers. So take what resonates. Um, but this is somebody madly in love. Well, I'm getting two things because, you know, in these high-level soulmates, um, there's always two unions. There's the union with self and source, which is, you know, um, your inner masculine and feminine coming into complete balance and harmony in the heart space. And then there's the external manifestation of that. So it looks to me, Leo, like um, somebody really, 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 really loves you. Um, I think you might actually spend Valentine's Day together. I think you're either already with this person or you'll hear from this person. I think this person, you know, would marry you <laughs> if you would marry them. Um, they they look at you as being the highest and best union Um you're perfect, you fit into their life beautifully, and there may even be a reason for the two of you to have met. Um, if this is not actually having union in Valentine's Day, which it feels like, even if it's just um, a date or spending time together or hearing from each other, um, I really do think that uh, your Valentine's Day is going to be very special. Now, if this isn't an external manifestation with somebody, then this is the first union. This is you finally coming out as the butterfly, the empress energy, um, stepping into your life purpose, being able to balance your inner masculine and feminine energy, you know, creating your own happiest life because Nine of Pentacles is the single card. And the Ten of Cups is, you know, um, wanting to create something external to you in union. So there's two things going on here. There's those of you that are already finding union with your high-level soulmate, and you'll be together on Valentine's Day. Um, or, because you could be embracing each other. Or the other thing is for those of you that, that are in separation from your twin flame, soul partner, the person that you're going to be manifesting union with, I think by being in the high vibration of the nine of pentacles, which is pre-empress energy, um, embracing the union, embracing that that um, it's like faith, you know? I know that when I love myself and create for myself my own happiness, I am calling in my high-level soulmate, who is my be-all-and-all-emotional person. 
the person who completes me. So whether you're doing this by yourself, because some people are with the nine of pentacles, um, and that's, you know, the first union is with you and source. It's loving yourself, putting yourself first, having those healthy boundaries. But the moment you start thinking you don't need to be with somebody, you're already manifesting your soul's partner. And so be in this high vibration, whether you're with your person, not with your person, it doesn't matter. Um, honor yourself. Know thyself. I'm hearing know thyself. And you're in this very high vibration of a very beautiful Valentine's Day. Whether you celebrate it alone. I'm telling Leo, if you, if you spend Valentine's Day alone, you're not going to be sad at all. You're going to be loving life. You're going to buy yourself flowers, take yourself to dinner, spa day, whatever. This is not sadness. I'm not feeling anything here but happiness. And if you're in a relationship, your Valentine's Day is going to be spent together, loving each other, dancing, celebrating, and this person really sees your value. And they look at you as part of their life's purpose and the missing link in their life. All right, so that's your reading. Congratulations. Sounds like so much fun. All right, Leo, 36, 36. I like these magic numbers. All right. Let's see. We're going to... Move on now to Virgo. All right. Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and all cross watchers. For Virgo's person that is on their mind over Valentine's Day. Who is on Virgo's mind over Valentine's Day? Virgo's mind in love over Valentine's Day. Virgo's on their heart and mind for Valentine's Day. Virgo. All right. We have the Five of Wands. Ooh, I think we should slow down. Isolating thoughts. Creativity. Wow, look at that. And reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Okay, so there's inner conflict here, big time. This could be... Um, this could be competition for some of you. There could be competition for some of you. Um, it kind of feels for some of you, and I'm going to put some of you, um, like you might actually be in a relationship or dating somebody, or they are. Um, and the other person seems to be not too happy about it it feels to me like you might just be you might have put this person to the side for a while maybe you're dating others maybe they're seeing you with others now that isn't for everybody that's for those of you that that can own it now, the other story, and, and so you mirror to this person. When they see you as somebody else, when they see you happy, when they see you, you know, living your highest and best life, um, especially if you put them aside, if you told them we should slow down, um, give each other some space at the moment. I feel like this person is a little angry, a little um, 
like they're feeling victimized. They're feeling shunned. They're, they're, you've kind of triggered a abandonment wound in this person. But what I like is they're looking up toward the light. I think this person sees you, again, with this energy of seeing somebody here is having fun, right? Playing video games. Um, this person could have played games with your emotions. And you might have put up some boundaries, seven of wands. And you may have asked for space or energetically walked away. Hmm. But what about them? So they're feeling isolated. They're feeling conflicted. They could be feeling jealous. Or they could be daydreaming about you. I'm, I'm noticing this guy's looking at the light. And here is the light coming down. This person might be missing you and wishing that they were there. Spirit could be showing this person the light. You might have reflected back to them as their mirror um, an inner child wound around abandonment. I think this person's been hot and cold with you. For some of you, this this was them. I'm seeing Knight of Pentacles in my head. It's like they, they took things way too long. They took way too long is what I'm hearing. And um, played games, games on and off is what I'm feeling. And so I think you might have put up a boundary. I think you might have even maybe if you didn't put up a boundary, maybe you just energetically um, gave this person space. Because you figured, well, they're not ready, right? They're not ready. If they were ready, they'd be here. We'd be doing this. So both of you are thinking of each other, but this person's missing you. And whatever actions you've done, in this situation um, is mirroring back to this person their inner trauma. And I don't know, I don't feel like you will hear from this person, to be honest. I think you're going to have fun if you're resonating with this reading. You're going to have fun possibly out on date with somebody else. Um, or you might be creating a new life with somebody else. If that's not your current situation, then this person worries about what are you doing on Valentine's Day? Are you dating somebody else? <coughs> are you happy? Um, this person's thinking about you, but I don't see any action. I see conflict. I see boundaries. Um, whether you gave them or they gave them, I see um, this person being alone and reflecting. And this could very well be you, too. This could be you um, missing your person because they put up the boundary and you're feeling isolated and conflicted. Um, and if that's the case, I challenge you because triggers are blessings. I challenge you to look in the mirror at what this situation brings up for you and ask spirit to show you the truth no matter what the cost because there's something within you that also needs to be healed. It's really how you look at this. Because this this feels like a lot of you have done so much healing. And you could literally be creating with other people right now. There could be competition and this person's watching it. But whatever is going on, whether this is you or them, this is what they want or what you want, this situation is making them reflect and look at the light, which is a good thing. And I think you might be ascending together.
You're definitely on this person's mind or they're on your mind. But I don't see any communication. I just see somebody who's triggered in a childhood wound of feeling alone and isolated and learning something about themselves through the dynamic they share with you or vice versa. All right. Phew, that was a heavy message, Virgo. You guys need to, um, I don't know, go within. Do some inner child healing if it's you. If it's them, then you just keep living your highest and best life. Know that they love you and they miss you, but they're not ready. All right, so we have 4540. 5540 for Virgo. We are moving on now to Libra. Spirit, what does Libra need to know? about the person on their heart and mind for Valentine's Day. Libra, for the person on their heart and mind for Valentine's Day. So far, it feels like Leo is leader of the pact, as usual. Looks like their Valentine's Day is going to be fun, exciting, and filled with love. Libra, <laughs> I'm going to get all your cards out, and then we'll I'll channel for you. Libra, whoever, oh, that one wants to come out. For Libra, whoever is on their heart and mind for Valentine's Day. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Spirit. <gasps> Love. Ooh, reflection again. Wow. It's funny how there's coincidences. So Libra could be dealing with a Virgo. Doesn't have to be. All right. For Libra, thank you. Got a popper. All right. So we have Ace of Pentacles. I'm looking at the picture. We have I Imagine You Naked. Not sure what eight that would be. Maybe Eight of Wands, Passionate. Communication. We have reflection and projection. We have love. We have look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Um, <laughs> so there's a weird message coming through. I imagine you naked and here's somebody sitting naked. And we have this... Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. And then we have a mirror. And an ace of pentacles. I'm just going to put it out there. It's going to resonate with at least one of you. This is all about somebody who's finally loving themselves completely, fully. You know, all their flaws, their scars, their past, their present, their future. This is just complete. This is somebody who's looked, looked deep within their own heart and looked in that mirror and they're really starting to invest in themselves because I'm seeing a lot of singular energy here. We've got this ace of pentacles. We've got this person sitting alone. We've got this person alone. And it just feels to me like for at least one of you, this is about you recognizing on Valentine's Day that that maybe you're thinking this is just, you know, this is just any other day and I love myself now more than I ever have. And so, there, you know, love happens for you every day because you've gone within, you've looked in that mirror, you've looked at your flaws, you've looked at yourself, truly looked at yourself and all your brokenness. And now you're ready to invest in your own love, your own happiness. Because for somebody watching this, you finally reached that union, that first union of I am perfect just the way that I am, flaws and all. I love my body. I love what I create. This is returning back to source, which is within you. 
Okay, that's for somebody. <laughs> now, I got good news. For those that that doesn't resonate with, at the Ace of Pentacles, you could very well get an engagement ring or a date or a phone call. It It's Eight of Wands energy. You might get a message that you can sink your teeth into and bury it in the backyard. It's steady. It's it's secure. It's for real, right? Pentacles are for real. Um. When they think of you, they feel like you've busted them wide open. You've shown them things about themselves. If this person doesn't, because I'm seeing that there's a potential, but I don't see a definite. But it feels to me like this person has a lot of love for you. They want to tell you. But there might be something here for some of you that they don't. Because they're working on self-love. Because this look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. That's this energy. These two are so beautiful together. And everything looks really good except for this broken mirror. And, and so I'm going to say for Libra, it's a 50-50 handbag mix. There's definite love here. This mirror tells me that, that the two of you reflect back upon one another. Um, some kind of... of I'm just hearing, I know, you know, I channel, guys, I'm sorry. I have to say what I'm hearing. When I look in the mirror, I see you. I can't even see myself. I see you. And for some of you, that's a very scary thing for this person. So I'm not sure if you'll hear from them, but the desire is there. This is really good. This is Eight of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles. You know, if I just read those two cards, if I took this card out altogether, this is, I'm going to call you. We're going on a date. I love you. You know, when I look within my heart, it's you that I feel. It's you that I see. I want you to know that my love for you is as deep as the ocean. But then with this reflection card... This could be somebody thinking this and not actually doing it. So whoever you're thinking about loves you deeply, deeply loves you. And they are passionately desiring you. And not just desire, but there's a grounded element to this. This person wants to seal the deal. But I'm not sure if they're just thinking about it or if they're actually going to do it. So let me know, Libra, in the description or the comment section, if your person actually grounds this and brings it into the physical. Or if it remains in the heart and in the mirror. But be 100% certain that this person loves you because they do. Now, if you don't have a person, this is all you, baby, and you're doing great, man. Take yourself out to dinner, buy yourself candy, flowers, you know, take a four-hour long bubble bath, uh, reflect on, on how beautiful you are, all of your scars, all of your, you know, stretch marks or, or whatever, you know, and just this is self-love. This is, you know, um, somebody who really understands true self-love all right all right we're gonna move on that was a deep message don't know who it's for hope it resonates with somebody all right libra at 54 45 54 45 
I don't know why my pencils keep dying on me. All right, moving on to Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and all cross watchers. We got a jumper for Scorpio. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. You could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But we have the Ace of Swords energy. Compatibility. Wow. Please. Ooh, we have manifesting miracles. All right, so four of cups. And the first thing I thought is, boy, don't that look like a Scorpio. <laughs> Stubborn, unhappy. It's like, like you were trying to create something and, and somebody spilled, you know, it's a mess. Something's a mess is what it feels like. Somebody created a mess. Whether that was you or your person. But I'm seeing this teacher, this woman. She's got a new cup to replace the old one. She's got a fresh piece of paper. She wants to make something right. So this could be your energy wanting to fix something um, with the other person. You know, this is like wanting to speak, wanting to be honest, wanting to be truthful. Um, we have you dream, your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So if this is all spirit, because air can be spirit for me as well. Um, if, if you've been dealing with, with somebody and it's been a real hot mess, um, there's been a lot of learning. There's been a lot of um, of do overs or or opportunities. You know, you keep cycling around again. You, it feels to me like there. You know, you've got the two of cups with this compatibility, which is two people, two birds. Everything's two, right? And you've got this magician energy of manifesting this miracle. It feels to me like you've had a dream or your person's had a dream for a long time about very mutual love. But there needs to be communication. And I think for some of you, you could very well hear from this person on Valentine's Day. They might come in because they've been manifesting you or you've been manifesting them. Um you know, this is a dream on this pa piece of paper here, and it feels like that dream, um, somebody in this situation kind of felt for a while there that it was not going to come true, that it wasn't real, or that it wasn't right, or it was too messy, or, it, you know, it, it wasn't tall enough, thin enough, it wasn't right, but yet it felt so right, and so I feel like you've been manifesting each other, and I feel like you could get um, communication or give communication over Valentine's Day week, weekend, day, whatever, uh, because somebody wants to, somebody has mutual feelings and wants to start over with you, and they've been manifesting it, and it looks like they might even speak up, or this could be you, um, but either way, it, it's like these two people are, you know, she's waving and he's got his hand out like he's tossing her a heart. It looks like you've been going in separate directions. Um, doing your own thing, you know. Maybe you haven't been talking lately or whatever. Um, it just feels like there's been some opposition in this relationship. But the feelings are mutual. The love is mutual. And somebody really does want this mess to be figured out and straightened up. And they want another chance. They want another opportunity. They want another do-over. And so 
um, your dream is soon to become a reality, whether it happens on Valentine's Day or, or very soon. Either way, spirit saying this is very mutual and on its way to you because both of you or one of you is a manifesting maniac. <laughs> and I see it coming in. I see it coming in brand new and, and it's good. There's going to be an opportunity to make something right or to, to start over or start fresh. And they could tell you that, or you could just experience it. You could meet somebody new that, that maybe you're worried with the four of cups because the four of cups is my no thank you. Can I trust this? Do I want this card? But I think for Valentine's Day, you're going to either meet somebody new, have an opportunity to start over. It's going to feel very mutual, very compatible. Uh, you've in the vibration of receiving this. And this could be somebody who, who just cross, crosses your path. It could be new with an ace. Um, but for those of you that came here with somebody specific on your heart and mind, you or them, there is a huge opportunity to have a conversation and to fix something that both of you want to fix. But it's kind of like, who's going to be the one to make the effort here? And will the other person be willing to trust spirit and their heart's guidance? Knowing their truth. And, you know, another thing that Ace of Swords reminds me of in this deck, because it's an oracle deck, is the Queen of Swords. It's, um, I'm just hearing, don't cut off your nose to spite your face. If you feel the same way about this person and they've somehow made a mess of things, you might want to just let them make it up to you. And be aware. Just be aware. But don't be guarded. Somebody wants to make something right. And if this is your heart and soul, if your heart is guiding you to make something right with someone else that feels the same way you do, it just feels to me like this is a great time to reach out to one another and to create that that conversation. I always tell people, though, trust your intuition because, you know, I've been very divinely guided on my journey on when to reach out and when to hold back. That's that Queen of Swords energy. She knows when to speak her truth and she knows when to put a boundary up. So you have to trust your intuition in this. But both of you are absolutely manifesting each other. And there's an opportunity for renewal on Valentine's Day. Um, but somebody's going to have to initiate. Because in this picture here, it looks to me like she could be throwing that heart to him or he could be throwing it to her. So I think you need to trust your intuition. If you've been trying to manifest communication... It might be on its way to you. If you've been trying to manifest an apology, it could be on its way to you. Or if this is something you know you need to give, it's your, you did the wrong. You're the one that needs to clean up the mess. You're the one that needs to reach out. Um, despite your fears of rejection, I would say go for it. All right. So that's for Scorpio. My battery says it's low. So we got to hurry here. We've only got a couple left to do. Um, 10409, 10409, Scorpio. Let's try to hurry before my battery dies. Okay, moving on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, who's on Sagittarius's heart and mind? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and all cross watchers for Valentine's Day. For Sag. For Valentine's Day. For Sag. Valentine's 
day for Savage. Digging deep. All right. <clears throat> Ooh, passion. Ooh. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Okay. So we have the Ten of Wands. With you are so beautiful, why do you need me? That's that Nine of Wands energy. We have memories, nostalgia, and something here is on fire, guys. Um, and we have passion. We have resolving conflict. We have love, empathy, compassion, understanding. We have somebody here who is, um, this is, this feels like somebody who, who, wow, nine and 10 of wands. They're ending a cycle in their life. They're learning something about, um, wow, this just kind of feels like a hermit moment, like your person on your heart and mind or you, because it could be flip flopped. Somebody is feeling very heavy. They're feeling very victimized. They're, they're not giving up yet, but they're close. So whether this is a situation with you or a situation with someone else so they can come towards you, I'm going to tell you something right now, Sagittarius. You should be sending love and compassion and understanding and empathy to this person because they're going through a very hard time right now in their own personal life. And if this has to do with you, um, this person doesn't feel like you love them anymore. Or, no, actually what I'm getting is this person can't get you off their mind because it's like you're in their heart and in their energy all the time. They're always thinking about you. They're exhausted. They're they don't know if this is going to work out or not. They have so much passion for you. But there seems to be an element here of needing. I heard teamwork. Either this person takes on, they, they could be a um, overachiever, a workaholic. Um, but, they, but the reason why they would be an overachiever or workaholic is because they don't, they don't see their own beauty their own their their life is boring because they're always people pleasing and trying to help other people they're trying to be seen they're trying to to always do everything for everyone and you seem to be the only person that ever truly gave back to them and i think with this a magnetic seductive quality surrounds you that's magnetism it's attraction this person feels you in their energy all the time they think about you all the time they don't feel worthy of you um they they it's like you can't they they're just wow uh you need to just send love to this person on valentine's day they're going through something. Something's being destroyed in their life. And they worked so hard to build it. And they're feeling sorry for themselves. And they they don't feel worthy of your love. But they desire it so deeply. And I think that this person is probably in a really dark place right now. And I think you should be loving, empathetic, compassionate, understanding. And just send them energy right to their heart chakra. I don't think this person is in a good place right now, and I doubt if you'll hear from them. But damn, they can't. They're you're, they're obsessed with your energy. It's everywhere around them. And I see the heart with wings. I think this person's heart has been heavy for a very long time. And I think when they think of you, they feel like their heart takes wing. And yet... I don't think whatever dark night of the soul or ego death or past energy, there's something going on in this person's life that needs to be burnt to the ground. 
and you need to step back and let them have their their moment um spirits got it this feels like the tower for me i don't know why but it just does uh resolving conflict i think this person um there's a lot going on in their life that they have to fix right now and they can't get you off their heart and mind but they're they're busy some they're busy ending a cycle with someone else or somewhere else or within themselves and so valentine's day is going to be very hard for them because they miss you so deeply and they love you so much but they they have cycles they're clearing cycles and cycles in their life right now closing out a chapter and it doesn't feel like it's with you but it could be but it doesn't feel like it's with you so take what resonates and if this is your energy, I would say there's been somebody that you've been really thinking about really passionately, like they're in your energy all the time. And you can't stop thinking about them and, and you need to work on your self-worth and you need to stop setting yourself on fire to keep other people warm. All this love and empathy and compassion and understanding that you have. You can send energetically, but you need to call something, some of that back home to yourself because this heart here needs it too. If you resonate with being codependent and overgiving, and if you're this person in the dark place, um, I would say obsessing over someone else. You need to be kind and compassionate and empathetic to yourself. So put yourself wherever you are in this, but somebody is really, really having a hard time loving themselves and closing out a cycle, whatever that cycle is. And this passion card says that, you know, that they're manifesting that energy is there all the time. I would say both of you are very 5D connected. All right, so I'm going to move on. My phone's going to die because I can't stop channeling. Moving on. That was Sag. Sag. I feel sad for Sag or your person. Just be be loving in whatever way you're called to be loving. All right, 112 30, 112 30. Moving on to Capricorn. All right, Capricorn in love for Valentine's Day. Whoever's on their heart and mind can't take that many for Capricorn, please. Capricorn, whoever's on their heart and mind. Ooh, King of Pentacles. Whoever's on their heart and mind for Capricorn showing up in their own reading or energy. Ooh, we have the Ace of Swords. For Capricorn, for Valentine's Day, for Capricorn, whoever's on their heart and mind. We have nurture, compassion. Feels like very similar energy for people. I'd say Leo is the leader. <laughs> for Capricorn, please. Oh, we got love. For Capricorn. We have give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. I know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Um, yeah, I would say you're going to hear from your person. It looks like a man reaching out, reaching out, waving, saying hi. Um, this is somebody who, by the way, is either has a lot of money or just stature or knows their self-worth. They're just very grounded. They're happy with what they've created. Um, if this is your energy and you know you should reach out to someone else, because we have co, I'm seeing co, this takes two, right? Nurture, compassion, love. Um, giving thanks for the blessing of love. I think because it says soon to come your way. So you're either reaching out to your person or they're reaching out to you. And it looks good. It looks grounded and stable. It looks like two people wanting to co-create something together. And if the, if you're single, 
and you've been manifesting, you've been, you know, loving yourself, self-love, nurturing, compassionate to yourself, um, then this blessing of love is coming towards you. And it looks like somebody is going to reach out to you. They're going to want to communicate. They might want to ask you out on a date. Um, but you're either manifesting something new with the ace or this is somebody that you already know that's going to reach out or maybe you know you should reach out. Either way, this looks really good. It co. This is like two people that are wanting the same thing. And this um, is a message coming, a blessing coming in, a brand new beginning, either with the person on your heart and mind, or if you're single, this is, you know, being in that vibration of love and manifesting something very stable and secure. I think you might just get communication um, soon. And it's going to be a blessing. It's going to nurture you. This person's going to, you know, want to commit. So yes, I think you're going to get a message. I think things are going to be reciprocal. I think it's going to be somebody you can trust. Um, I think you're there. You're going to get a message or give a message, and it feels um, reciprocal. It feels good. It feels grounded. It feels stable. All right. All right. Moving on from Capricorn to Aquarius. We're at one sixteen sixteen. Last but not least, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Valentine's Day reading for Aquarius, for whoever's on their heart and mind. We have the Eight of Swords. Wow, stuck like Chuck. Negative thinking. Too many. For Aquarius, in love, on their heart and mind for Valentine's Day. Wow. This love scares me. What did they hear from that? Ooh, control and tactics. Wow. Aquarius, lighten up. We have worthiness. Message for Aquarius and love. For Valentine's Day from the person on their heart and mind. Look deep within your heart. You will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. <sighs> okay. So, first of all, for Valentine's Day, I don't think you're going to hear from this person. I think they're struggling with their self-worth. I think they're trying to control their emotions. Um... I think they're stuck like Chuck, if this is your person's energy. But for some of you, okay, so one thing at a time, Spirit. Let's just slow the roll. If this is your person, they are stuck and stinking thinking. There is fear around this, this connection. With the 11, this is master number 11. This could be high-level soulmate. This could be somebody you're very, very spiritually connected to. They could be your catalyst. You could be their catalyst. Um, but there seems to be games or tactics or control in this situation, either on their half toward you or on your half toward them. And it needs to be looked at. You need to look within yourself and ask yourself if this is your energy, what does this person mirror to you that scares you? And why are you afraid to communicate or to come out of hiding? And why do you hold back? Because this control feels like holding back if this is your energy. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. This is like uh, hidden feelings for somebody. The other message I'm getting is for some of you, this is all you, obviously, because not everybody has a partner 
for someone on their heart and mind and they're looking for somebody. Um, but this is like the minute you know your own worthiness, then the kind of people you've been attracting that control you or use tactics or play games or, or manipulate you, you will kind of put a healthy boundary up with, with the Eight of Swords. You'll, you'll, there's a railing here. Um, because loving yourself is scary. Knowing your own worth is scary. Um, look deep, look deep within your heart and feel love. Um, and, and stop trying to control it's the chaser energy it's like um i need i need i need i need gimme 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 somebody please love me i is it that one no maybe it's that one it's this feeling of you know you've been in the cycle of of chasing and then hiding, chasing and then hiding. And if this isn't you, it's your person. It's it's just this energy of I want, I want, I need, I need, gimme, gimme, gimme. And then, whoa, slow your roll. I don't know. I'm scared. Am I good enough? It, it just feels like this is a very triggering relationship for both of you. And you bring out each other's fears and reservations and maybe even mind games. It feels like you might be in a runner chaser dynamic with somebody for those of you that that resonates with. Um, but the, it's very mutual despite the external triggers. Um, this is two people who really do love each other. Um, but haven't yet learned the art of self-love and unconditional love of other, of self and other. And so the two of you mirror each other one and one. I think you both want to communicate, but I think you're both scared. I think um, that control and tactics is, you know, uh, that during that run or chaser thing where you really, really, really want to text them, but you also are really, really, really you know you shouldn't and you're holding back and and maybe there might even be for one or two of you this thought that if i don't reach out to them they'll reach out to me it's their turn you know that you know that 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 runner chaser dynamic i think aquarius if this resonates with you you either are in or have been in the runner chaser dynamic and i feel like one of you um might be learning self love and the other one might be holding back um, in a controlling way, hoping that you will reach out to them. I'm getting so much on this reading. Um, there, there must be a lot of cat, er, Aquariuses watching this. Um, but this is baseline, whether this is you with someone or, the, or them towards you, or whether this is you with yourself or them with their selves. The, the key to this relationship coming together is... Facing your fears, looking at your own triggers, your own issues, your own control tactics, your own runner chaser energy, and to, to somehow go within and become the first union, the vibration of love. And this person definitely is a divine counterpart that brings up a lot of issues for you and you bring up a lot of issues for them. But Valentine's Day, I would say you both want to reach out. One is holding, and both are holding back. So it may or may not happen. And I think the whole reason why it may or may not happen is because there's control issues, self-worth issues, fear issues, and a need for self-love on both ends, or at least one or the other. Because... This looks beautiful. Maybe one of you knows your worth already. Maybe one of you is already in this energy. If you think you're in this energy, then this is your person who is in, now in this um, 
runner energy. I think the minute you, if you can go within your own heart space and send love to yourself and to this person, perhaps maybe you might hear from them. But this is knowing you deserve that communication. And they need to know that you deserve to get it. Or vice versa. <laughs> All right, guys. This has been your reading. I love you. And I will catch you on the next upload. All right. Namaste. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>